Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're taking a closer look at the moss chops. Now when I do my research for these videos, I often find conflicting information from various websites. Some say a creature is one size, another says it's something else, maybe one site will claim a particular dinosaur is a carnivore, another may say it's a scavenger. I always try my best to figure out which explanation is the most consistent and always provide the alternative ideas. But while researching the moss chops, there is one basic fact I cannot find a definitive answer for. How to pronounce its name. Some sites claim it's pronounced moss chops, others moshops, and others say it's moshops. So for the sake of simplicity, I shall choose moss chops and stick with it. The moss chops is from a group of animals called theropsids, which are the ancestors of modern mammals. The Mosschops is often called a mammal-like reptile, and it was not a dinosaur. In fact, it lived long before dinosaurs existed, during the late Permian period, from around 265 to 260 million years ago. Its remains are found in the Karoo region of South Africa. The first remains were discovered by Robert Broom, who named the species in 1911. Mosschops was around 2.7 metres long, and was one of the largest herbivores of its day. One of the standout features of the Mosschops anatomy was its incredibly thick skull. The upper bone in the skull was roughly 10 centimeters thick, thicker than any other of the known animals of its day. The front legs carried the Mosschops body higher than the rear legs, meaning that most of the animal's weight was towards the front. These two facts combine to give rise to the theory that the moss chops competed in headbutting contests where rather than charge at each other they would walk up to each other and push, perhaps like sumo wrestlers today. The body posture of moss chops meant that it was not a fast runner, but it was probably twice as big as the largest predators of the day, with perhaps one or two exceptions. Moss chops probably had little to fear from predators. Its suspected social behaviour means that it likely moved in groups or herds, and it was one of the dominant land species of its time. It was probably only the young, the old or the sick that were in danger. One interesting fact about the moss chops to end the video on, it was once the star of a children's TV programme that aired in the UK in 1983. The programme, called Moss Chops, revolved around the main character, who was a Moss Chops, his best friend Ali the Allosaurus, who lived in a cave with his grandfather, a Diplodocus, and his uncle, a T-Rex, along with other characters such as Mrs. Kerry, a Triceratops, and Mr. Ichthyosaurus, who unsurprisingly was an Ichthyosaur. It was a stop-motion animation and was clearly full of scientific inaccuracies. Well that's all for today and as always I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did like the video please consider letting me know by leaving a like and a comment and subscribing if you're new. And I'll see you next time here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.